Welcome everyone to the channel. Um, yes, I do realize I'm wearing the same thing that I wore in the last video, but you know, it's been a week. I have done laundry. I, I do apologize. Don't crucify me too badly for it, okay? Uh, it occurred to me that I really haven't done a shop update. Uh, definitely a few things going on. You can see back here on the whiteboard, there's quite a few things on the whiteboard right now, things that need to be done, things that I want to get done. Nothing earth shattering, nothing crucial, but just some things that I want to get taken care of. So I thought I'd run you through those things and also potentially a couple vehicles that could be leaving here in the very near future. So first of all, we'll start with the Pantera. Pantera is doing very well. I actually took it out and drove it the other day and it performed really, really well, really flawlessly. But every now and then I do notice a little bit of a hesitation in between shifts. Just right when you come out of the throttle in the next gear, there's just a little bit of hesitation. So I do want to get that looked into, maybe a little tweaking with the carburation. I had thought about maybe going fuel injection on this car and I'm still not close-minded to that. I just don't know if I want to spend the money right now. I'd rather maybe invest a couple hundred bucks into tweaking with the carburation, see if I can get that right. Um, another issue we do have with the car uh, at the Cars and Coffee that we had last week. And if you guys didn't see that video, definitely go check it out. It was a great time, a lot of great vehicles. I wanna thank everybody again for showing up. But um, a gentleman wanted to see the lights come up, so Eddie put the lights up for him, and they went up flawlessly, then they wouldn't come down. So I had to put them down manually. Um, not a real big deal, because truthfully, I don't really drive my cars that much at night, and I don't think I've ever driven this car at night. But still, I like everything to be working correctly. So uh, we're gonna have to look into that. I still need to add it to the whiteboard, as a matter of fact. But I definitely wanna get into that and check that all out. The 64 Corvette was actually gone. Uh, not very long, actually, but it was actually gone, just came back. What was going on with it is the, um, the rear end was making a noise. It had been making a noise for a little while. Um, Eddie had done some tweaks to it and done a few things to it, but it was kinda looking like it was gonna be in the rear diff. And um, it was pretty bad. I noticed it just right on takeoff, sometimes when turning or what have you. So I was thinking, okay, I'm probably gonna have to have the rear end rebuilt or what have you. So I took it over to Al's transmission. Nathan worked on it, listened to it, drove it some. And what he ended up doing, he did a, a fluid flush on it, put new fluid in it, drove it a little bit more, flushed it again, put new fluid in it. And I think he's got it taken care of. Now, I just was moving around out here and I backed it into the shop where normally I would hear the noise and I didn't hear the noise, but um, weather permitting, I know it's kind of cloudy outside, it's a little cool today, but uh, weather permitting, we're gonna take this thing around the block just to see how it does, just to see how it feels, because I haven't really road tested it yet since I got it back. Well, the 56 Chevy, there is a slight possibility it could be traded off for something. Um, I'm not saying for sure, I'm gonna go check out some things this weekend. I'm looking at another vehicle as a potential trade. I don't think it would be a bad trade, but I wanna see this vehicle in person because I've had the 56 for a long time. I really do like it. I still like it very much, but you know, I've had it a long time. I've had it now about four years and it might be time to move on to something different. So who knows, there might be a new vehicle in the shop here very soon. I will keep you guys posted. The Lightning actually drove this truck yesterday to Sacramento and back. I'll get into that a little bit more in a minute. But um, something I've wanted to do to the Lightning ever since I got it was lower it down. I think it needs to come down just a couple of inches, not slam, just a little bit. I think it would look so much better. And it is something I've been talking to Jesse about. I remember right after I got the Lightning, I, I remember talking to him about it. And we started looking up lowering kits and things like that. And then we got sidetracked with other projects and went away from it. So I want to get back into that. I would like to get that done here really soon. The 40 Ford, the one thing I definitely want to do on this thing is new exhaust. The exhaust is old and it's rather quiet. I would like to give this thing a little bit more of a deeper a little bit more of an aggressive tone. So I'm gonna take it to my exhaust guy and have him just go headers back, do all stainless, do something nice. It also has an exhaust leak, so I'm gonna eliminate that. Um, another thing with this car I notice is that the automatic choke seems to stick. So I'm gonna get it over to Eddie, have him do a little tweaking with it, uh, get that taken care of and get it running right. The Speedster, as you guys will notice, still lacking hubcaps. Hubcaps are right down there on the floorboard. But uh, as I was saying in another video, is there are tabs on the rims to hold the hubcaps on and all the tabs on this thing are broken off. I've got new tabs for it. 
So um, I'm going to take it over to the workshop. Eddie's going to pull the rims off, going to put a fresh coat of paint on the rims, get them all nice, fresh, and blacked out really good, and then uh, put the new tabs on, put the hubcaps on. I think it'll make this car look a little bit more finished, a little more refined, and you know, then this car will be done. I, I'm not going to do anything else to it. Kit, I actually have a little project on kit to do. Again, at the Cars and Coffee, um, I had all the lights going, I had the scanner light going and everything like that. And then I noticed that uh, one of the bulbs is burnt out on the scanner light. So it looks a little funny when the little red light's going back and forth and you're missing one. So need to fix that. Um, also had Kit talking a little bit. Something I don't really do very often. I don't have it on very often, but, um, and I don't think I've ever showed you guys. So let's have him talk real quick. I believe it's time for a strategic withdrawal. Never mind who's in here. I've given you a scientific projection and spare me your superstitious prattle. Even with my new ATX surveillance equipment, there's just too much electrical interference around here for me to tell if there's anyone inside or not. Thanks. You're not so bad yourself. So yeah, I wasn't 100% sure if I ever showed you guys that or not, but he has like 100 different phrases he says, and I think he says it about every like 10, 15 seconds or what have you. So had that going, people really thought that was really cool. Uh, the General Lee was actually here, if you guys didn't catch that, and it's now over at the workshop. Uh, Eddie's been doing some tweaks to it, just like small little things, and um, you know, nothing really major. I am going to do an update video on that, uh, kind of talk about what's been done, uh, take it for a little drive, show you what a difference it made, and just uh, the driving experience and everything like that. So that is coming, but yeah, definitely some tweaks on the General Lee. And, um, Let's see, another one we got going is my wife's bus, which is out in her she shop right now. Uh, I got a buddy that's going to come over and he's going to fix the gas gauge. Fuel gauge has not been working for a while. Going to work on the oil leaks. And also, he said the last time he heard me driving it, it sounded a little different to him. And he's a VW guy, so he would know. So I want him to check that out and tweak with that a little bit and just get that right. Um, so that should be done. Hopefully in the next couple of weeks I can get over to his shop or whatever he needs and he can tear into it and do what he needs to do. And last but certainly not least, the Pro Street Chevelle that I've got sitting out here right now looking absolutely amazing, I've got to say. It just, it's like a really wow factor when you walk in here. And of course it looks really great because I'm planning to get rid of it. Um, I actually had a guy come down yesterday from Sacramento take a look at the car, walk around, check it all out, and then I ended up going to his place in Sacramento and checking out his car. I think we're going to go ahead and trade. Um, made a deal, made a, a trade deal, and um, we just need to work out the logistics as far as getting my vehicle to him, getting his vehicle to me. Um, certainly both vehicles could drive the distance, but it would probably take like five tanks of gas between the two of them, and we really just want, don't want to drive either vehicle that far of a distance. I will tell you the vehicle, if it happens, is a bucket list vehicle for me. It's a vehicle I have wanted for quite some time. I think you guys are going to like it. And I am definitely going to miss the Chevelle. The Chevelle is just absolutely amazing. I mean, just look at the way it looks sitting there. It's, it's incredible. It really, really is. Um, but I knew when I got the Chevelle, I was only probably going to have it for around six months, and that's about how long I've had it. It's definitely bragging rights. But, you know, really all I can do is just run it around here. The vehicle I'm getting, I can go a little bit farther with it. It's a little bit more practical um, if there is such a thing in my collection. So anyway, stay tuned for that. Definitely going to be more coming on that. Okay, because you guys have adamantly told me in the last couple of videos that you're tired of looking at me when I do driving videos, just for you guys, I'm going to put on the whole headgear, give you a first person's perspective on what it's like to drive. So we're going to hop in the Corvette, take it around the block, and see how that noise is doing. All right, so here we go. So good news so far. Uh, normally I would have really heard it when I just edged forward out of the shop and I heard nothing. I was 
definitely doing good at speeds. I don't hear anything. Um, like I said, this should tell us right here because I know before I could really hear it making a turn, just taking off. Not a thing. Don't hear anything, don't feel anything. Excellent. Such a nice car to drive. It really, really is. Hopefully the camera angle is working for you guys and you guys can see everything. Still hear me okay. Hear the motor. If this works out and you guys like this, I will definitely do more of this. Even though I feel like a complete fool with this thing on my head. Let's give her the beam. And I'm very pleased. I hear no noise at all. So what I was thinking was probably gonna be around two grand to fix. Uh, it's gonna be much less. I haven't gotten the bill yet, but probably shouldn't say anything, but just to change the fluid and everything like that that they did, it's gonna be much less, and that makes me very happy. All right, so I am pleased. I did not hear the noise once. It's crazy that it ended up being easier and simpler and best of all, cheaper than what I anticipated. I've always liked that. That means I've got more money to spend on other projects and things like that. So yeah, very, very happy. Um, let me know what you guys think of this camera's perspective, the whole on the head thing, um, first person driving. I, I was looking back at the footage here on the GoPro and it looked pretty good. So I don't know how it's gonna come out on your screen, but let me know if you like that. I will definitely do more of that. Um, I was very pleased. So let me know what you think. Um, as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. My P.O. Box, Venmo, and Instagram will be in the description below. God bless. Take care. Have an absolutely amazing day.